hi i'm anna from miss a crochet i just had a market that sold 99 plushies and now i only have 40 plushies and i need to work on my inventory but i'm kind of in the mood to design a pattern i've had this baby whale shark pattern this is not very good but i've had this baby whale shark pattern in the works for like a year maybe more um, but I was always too scared to publish it because I feel like it looks like all the other whale shark patterns and people were going to come after me. And then I realized nobody's probably ever going to come after me. There are so many whale shark patterns. There are so many patterns of the same thing. It doesn't matter. So I really wanted to design a or finish working on and finalizing this baby whale shark pattern. But I also want to design a Totoro pattern to go with my Studio Ghibli guys. I want to make a giant one, but I don't think that's going to be in the cards yet. I think I'm just going to make a small one that I can market prep because Totoro is very iconic and I think more people will know him than Soot Sprites and Calcifer. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just in like a designing mood, even though I really should be market prepping. Um, I'm not. So let's crochet. So we're already having issues and I'm my dogs are very upset and I'm going to I'm, I'm going back to pen and paper because I don't know why it just works better okay I'm having issues and I already don't want to design this anymore <laughs> uh, guess who changed her mind and guess who that pattern is just going back into the void it's me I don't know I don't have the brain capacity to do it and it just makes me frustrated and feel stupid so fro let the frogging begin anyways as i was what was i saying i was saying that um my life is chaotic and i don't know what to do i feel like i have no time but also all the time in the world and i guess that's stressing me out <laughs> i don't know i don't know anymore um i think maybe <sighs> I don't know. I think maybe I will design the Totoro pattern just to see how it goes. I have an idea. I've already made two, but I didn't write them down because I was just kind of like trying to do it, trying to figure things out. So I think I know what I need to do. They turned out really cute. Do I have any pictures of them? No, sorry. I think maybe I just need to stick with less advanced projects and designs when I have a million things going on and maybe not base them off of really, really, really crappy patterns that I wrote like two years ago. I think that might be my issue. Surprise, 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 surprise. Uh, right now, I don't even know what's happening right now. Right now I am having a menti breaky. <laughs> I don't know there was some other there was some funny way that somebody said it and I feel like it's not that but it's similar to that or they just said it in a more fun way than I do but uh right now I'm finishing off this variegated turtle this is I don't know and taupe I think yeah so I'm doing all of the yarn ends I'm having a blast uh, so far, turtles are the only thing that I've been market prepping for my August 3rd market. Uh, today is Thursday, July 18th. Um, so I have this turtle, this turtle, and this turtle, which is, I think, my new favorite color combo, or one of my new favorite color combos. I found, um, or I, I kind of changed the pattern and I made it so that their heads don't flop down as much. Uh, this guy, I guess, is the exception because I didn't do it with him, but I did it with this one and this one, and I think their heads are a lot more sturdy, and it makes me really happy because, like, that was one of the things that really bothered me about the turtles. Uh, this guy had- this guy's head is still floppy, but, uh, whatever. It'll all be fine. I'm just being- I'm just, like, in a mood. I've been in a mood. I was in a mood yesterday. I don't have enough green, probably, to make another turtle, which is really sad. Um, or at least this, this specific green, having a stroke. Um, but I do have another turtle shell 
and fins that I can assemble. I still have to make the head for that one. I always save making the heads for last because they do require stuffing. And I like to bring my yarn to make turtle fins and turtle shells when I like go out. So I'm missing a fin. This is my favorite turtle color. I think I've been calling it sage and it's not actually sage. So I apologize for that. I don't really know the name of the color. I have a, uh, a new one over there, but um, I'm too lazy to get up and get it and read you the color because, because. So let's make this head. I keep going back and forth between my modified head version and their original head version. I'm trying to think of what I did for this guy because I think his head is good. I think I did my modified version and then with this one I did their original version and he's fine but maybe that's why he's wonky. I'm gonna do my modified version again because I like it and then there's like no chance of it coning. We are rocking and rolling now. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else to say. Sorry for the chaotic intro if you can't tell like I already said before I'm in a funk. I don't know. I feel like time is passing too quickly and I haven't done everything I wanted to do for my business this summer. Like I really wanted to start selling stuff online and then that didn't happen. Uh, I sold myself in person and it went great, but I wanted to start opening up like maybe custom turtles or things like that. But I don't know. Um, I wanted to work on my solo repertoire haven't worked on that. Worked on My Fair Lady a ton, which I still need to do today. Uh, rehearsal starts at 6.30-ish. Um, rehearsals keep going like way over time because people keep like messing up. Um, not really the musicians, but the cast and crew. Um, there's been a lot of lighting issues and a lot of like you're not making the curtain call or like the person who pulls the curtain isn't pulling the curtain. So yesterday, I got there at like 6.20 and I didn't leave until 10.20 and I, it was just, it was just brutal. It was just brutal. My hands and back hurt really bad because we've been crocheting and <laughs> we've been practicing every day this week. Tomorrow's opening night and I think it's going to be really good. It's really fun. But it's just like a lot of work and to not be getting paid really sucks because a part of me is like, okay, I know that I could be crocheting and that makes me money now. Um, but I am doing this and I really love it. So I can't be that mad. I do wish that we were paid like a little bit, like even like 20 bucks at rehearsal. Oh. This is my bad hook. I'm so mad at it. I'm gonna switch hooks because I can't handle that. Today is not a day where I can handle things not working. So I really hope rehearsal goes well, otherwise maybe you'll hear hear about it in the car. If you watched um part one of my two week vlog before the market that I just did, you're gonna see a lot of rants, or you would have seen kind of some rants in my car as I drove home from rehearsal. Maybe you'll see one tonight. I don't really know what this is gonna be. I think this is just gonna be a market prepping vlog. I'm not gonna actually um, do a ton of the music stuff in it. Uh, it's opening week. I can't really have my phone on me or I'm too scared to anyways. So I don't know. And I don't know how that other one is gonna be received if you guys like the music stuff or not. I kind of took a risk. Um, you guys haven't seen it yet or it, it hasn't been published yet when I'm talking to you because uh, it's waiting to get approval by the sponsor of that video, um, which is paying me. So that's nice. So maybe I can say um, I am kind of getting paid for being in the pit because I used it for content. I don't know. Those two or it's going to be a split vlog because it's one week and then the other week. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of crocheting. It has crocheting, but like it doesn't have me talking to you while I crochet because a lot of times I would be 
like working on other stuff or doing other things during the day, like practicing violin for two to four hours every day. Um, and then I would have rehearsal and then after rehearsal, I would come home and be wiped and I wouldn't want to do anything except for like stare at TV and then crochet. So yeah, it doesn't have a ton of crochet stuff, but it is, um, my life, which is interesting. I think it's, it's fun to show, um, the other side of my life here, uh, cause I don't think a lot of people really know about it or I I mean I talk about it but I don't like promote it and be like look at I'm I'm doing these cool things and I'm like a student <laughs> I mostly stick to crochet topics or other random things so I think it's cool that I can show you guys this and and and, and if it's if it's well liked I will um maybe keep keep up doing that and and be like Look it, I'm in college and I'm running my small business at the same time. Speaking of college, I just had to email our financial aid office because I got like my new bill for this upcoming semester. None of my scholarships or like federal and subsidized loans were added. It was like an ungodly amount of money because I go to a private school. I emailed them. I'm like, hey, I have this scholarship that I've used five out of the eight semesters for. Um, you forgot that, which is 14 grand a semester. You also forgot the two music scholarships that I got this semester when I crocheted all those eagles. If you haven't seen that video, I crocheted 40, I, okay, I crocheted 35 euros for the event and then I crocheted a couple more for like the professors that helped us run the event, but those were not commissioned. I just um, really liked those professors. Anyways, I auditioned for those awards. I won my own eagle <laughs> and I won two scholarships, one of which I had had before. It was for um, a music a music and science or um, somebody who participates in music, but also is a science major. So then they gave that to me officially for this full year now that I added my second major last October and then I got a different one that I don't know the amount of and that was not on my bill at all so it it, it was it was gonna have me pay for my semester in full with no nothing and I was like what because the FAFSA has been FAFSA F FAFSA 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 S-A FAFSA? I don't know how to say it. The FAFSA was jacked up this year. Like, I don't think they've even gotten mine yet. I don't know. I had to do it twice because they're trying to do this big thing where you can get more money or more aid and it wasn't their website and whatever wasn't ready in time, but like they still had to release it because it was court ordered for them to release it by a certain date. It was a mess. And so I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Hope Hopefully, it'll be okay. I hope. I need the money, please. Which is another reason why like, I don't live on campus. It's so expensive to live on campus. I missed a stitch, oh well. Um, it's super expensive to live on campus. I think it's like 20 grand for the whole year. And I'm like, I only have classes Tuesday, Thursday this fall. What am I doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Like my life is here doing this. Like I purposefully chose to have all my classes like one right after another. And it also just like lined up because those were the classes I needed. So I won't have to commute an hour because I commute like an hour. And, and so that I could have more free time. Because last semester, for the first half of the semester, I only had Tuesday, Thursday classes in person. And then I had Monday, Wednesday, Friday online. And then the professor came up from Mexico to teach for us um, for half the semester. And then I was going all five days a week. And I was like dead tired, exhausted. Because there were also upper division sociology classes I was taking. And so then I was like, I really liked actually not driving to campus all the time and having like a lot of time to do homework and relax. <laughs> so I'm really excited for this semester. I don't know how I got to this. Money, music. I got to this because I was worried that you guys weren't gonna like me including more music into my 
vlogs, but like that is a week in my life as a business owner. I mean, like I'm pre I'm pre I'm pretty much running like two businesses right now. I'm running my cro crochet business, and then I'm also running uh, my music business or like my my music career. And so it really is it, it is accurate, and it's why I haven't crocheted a ton and why I've been gone during the semester because I'm doing you know things like that or you know homework all the time i have to place eyes and i hate it i hate placing eyes it's the absolute worst they always are crooked and i like think they're the worst thing ever and people buy them immediately and, and, and i mean turtle wise and they don't care at all but like a part of me is like it's so crooked how could you buy this it's so terrible but nobody ever says anything nobody notices you don't notice because you just look at the whole thing whereas i'm like that eye is a stitch lower than it should have been i don't actually say that to people and markets i try and be nice emphasis on try <laughs> i'm kind of a mean person no i was literally like before i was filming this i was trying to find some crochet videos to watch and i was just like i don't know i was just being mean because i'm mean I mean, I'm not mean, like, and I don't comment stuff, but, like, in my head, I'm, like, or I'm, like, ooh, your voice is annoying, or I'm, like, ooh, oh, this person seems fake, or, like, things like that, and, it, and some of them weren't even crochet videos, they were just other random videos of, like, people, like, playing games, or, like, watching people play horror games, or things like that, because I'm too chicken to play them. I do like to play Dead by Daylight, but it's been like a really long time since I've played it. Um, I hate the game, but I also love it. I I love the game, but the only part that I hate is there are these tasks that you have to do in order to like help escape with you and this group of people. And they do have hearing, um, they do have like some accessibility things for like other sounds where it'll be like, this sound is coming from over here and there'll be a little arrow. But for that one, they don't have a sound. Or they have, for that one, they don't have a little, like, alert. They just have the sound, which is super, super quiet. It's like a gong. And then, and then the thing starts. And so, like, that's what makes it hard. But, like, as a person that's hard of hearing, I'm like, you can't make it an option to have that volume be, like, increased. Or have, like, a thing flash or something. Because I lose the game all the time because of that because I can't help people and so then I just get killed off right away and I'm like this is dumb and I almost wrote to them I feel like I still should because I really want to play the game <laughs> my cousins have it and we've been always been like oh we should play together and I'm like okay I mean I really want to play with them of course I love them and everything but I know I'm just gonna be dragging you know they're gonna have to carry the team for me and so that's why I haven't played that game for a while um, I really haven't been playing many video games. For a while, I was really into Stardew Valley. Um, with the update, everybody was super excited about that. I had a co-op. Uh, nobody goes on the co-op anymore. I kind of muted my group chat with all my high school friends and then some of their other friends because sometimes it's a lot. There's like, I feel like there's like 20 people in the group chat and I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't have my phone going off this much. I'm just gonna be distracted or, you know, sometimes it's like they're talking about other things that I'm not into and things like that. So then I mute it and I try and do that with other things too. Like I, I hardly ever go on Facebook anymore. Um, I do have my Instagram or my crochet Instagram cross posting to Facebook, which is nice. Uh, one of my videos kind of went viral well, I guess I don't really know how much viral viral is on Facebook, but it has like 500k views, which to me is exciting. Um, also a little scary now that 500,000 people have seen my face. Yeah, I don't know. I don't love it. I like it, but like when I think about it more, I'm like, gosh, I need to try harder and like do my hair more. And like make sure things look good if that many people are gonna see it it's terrible of me the eyes are crooked because when i crochet this on the eyes are like really crooked actually on this one damn it sometimes you just have to shape them a little bit <laughs> then the eyes won't be as crooked but it still kind of sucks i don't know the way that i do this like i have to put the eyes on different rows but then they're on different rows but they're lined up it's really kind of weird I think that's the best I'm gonna get. I just, I probably should have done like one stitch down, for real. One stitch down and it would have been fine, but 
whatever. You win some, you lose some. Um, people will still buy it. I'll just like in my head be like, the eyes are crooked. But I'm not gonna discount it because it's handmade. I mean, the eyes maybe aren't that bad. Are the eyes that bad? I'm trying to look. Eh, they might be. I feel like I'm just gonna like go through all my topics of things to talk about and then I'm gonna have nothing to say anymore for like weeks because like I don't understand how people can do crochet and chat with me is what do you talk about I have nothing to talk about I don't know I don't know anything <laughs> I don't know anything sounds like I'm like being interrogated I don't know where he is okay right now I'm uh crocheting the turtle's head onto the body so I'm gonna be distracted My other hook just broke. So now I have two hooks. That are doing this. So maybe we have to pause. I'm so mad right now. And find myself some super glue. We're going to try and fix these now. Because I guess that's what I do. Oh goodness. Oh no. My hook wasn't straight. Okay, we're going to try a different tactic. That really sucks. Yeah, this one definitely did not make it in there and it's crooked. And the only other one that I have left that hasn't done that yet is ripped. I guess we're stuck with it. Let's let's give it a whirl. See how, how off kiltered it is. I can't do it, I can't use that one. Maybe because I know it's different then it feels different, but I can't do it. I wasn't 100% sure about this color combo. And when I showed my mom, she was kind of like, eh. Then I remembered I literally just did a pattern test for Crochet by Kelsey and I used these exact colors and it turned out really cute and somebody bought it. And then I told my mom that and we both realized that we're both stupid. <laughs> we're both stupid. I just used this color combo and she's like, I don't know if it's gonna be cute. And I was like, are you sure? And then I was like, wait a minute. I just use these colors for a pattern test. Oh my gosh. We're dumb, but we're dumb together. And so it's great. <laughs> I was gonna say the pattern I'm using right now is CJ Designs, but then it, I just realized that it doesn't look right. And this is my modified version of it. So um, their pattern is great. I'm just creating problems for myself, I think. I don't really know. Things aren't lining up, which is concerning me. Oh, I know why. Because I'm dumb. Issues, issues, issues. I have issues. And I feel like this hook is going to break again. I don't know why I'm having such a crisis with this turtle. Usually I don't care. Which is a bad thing for me to do. I should care. But a lot of times I just like breeze through them because I'm not really thinking. But right now, this is all I have to think about because I'm talking to you and I have nothing to talk about, which is so fun. I'm sure you're having such a great time watching this. I'm wondering if you're even watching this right now, you know? If it was me, would I be watching this? Watching some random girl on the internet crochet a turtle and have a little mental breakdown? I don't know. I did it. And then I'm going to like slip stitch into this because there's always a hole here, but I don't really know how to fix the hole. Now I'm going to speed run crochet this and watch something because I'm running out of things to talk about. I'm sorry. I'm so boring. I mean, I'm not, but I am right now. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Hi, I just fit. <laughs> I did not just finish this turtle. Never mind. I'm a liar. I still need to bury it. Um, I still need to bury all of the yarn ends. Oopsies. I'm such a liar. Sorry. Don't know where my like valley girl voice just came from. Is that a valley girl voice? I don't really know. I think I am going to work on a Totoro. Should I practice violin? Yes. Do I want to? No. So I'm going to make Totoro. <laughs> I'm going to be 
a person, a, 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 a person, um, maybe not bad, maybe not good, but I'm going to crochet a Totoro and he's going to be great. And he's actually going to make me money because I'm going to sell the pattern. <laughs> so now with this turtle almost complete, I have now restocked four turtles. And that's it. Hello, sir. Your head's a little droopy. We have the other three that I already showed you. So this is all that I've restocked since the 13th. Turtles. I think it really is time for a Totoro. Should I work on my other pattern bundles that I want to design? Yes. Am I going to? No, I don't care anymore. I'm making Totoro because he is what I want to make. And so we shall make him. I need to create a new Google Doc though. I think first I'm just going to make the body. Then I'm going to do the sewn on stomach. And then after that, I'm going to make the body and do the color changes because I think that will make my life easier but right now i think i need to do a little sketch a little sketch of my boy i know i want him to maybe be like 36 stitches max the head of this is 24 this i think is 40 maybe he'll be 40 stitches max i think i want him to have ears but I don't think they're gonna be what does Totoro look like he kind of has like this head and then he got some kind of skinny-ish and then they kind of get wider embroidered nose for sure felt eyeballs that looks like Totoro. Um, whiskers. This is going to be embroidered. This is going to be um, like my cat whiskers. And then he's wide. He's a wide guy. So maybe like this. And his head kind of goes inwards and then i would do increases i don't like it <laughs> i don't like his feet just do this that's so basic that's what everybody does when they design him that's so mean of me to say but it's really true it's just like what everybody does that this way and he just doesn't have feet but he doesn't really have feet i think maybe sitting totoro is the way to go and then he'll have a tail his tail's kind of long oh no He'll just have like a tail that you sew on. This is kind of a lot of sewing. But if it's small, it won't be terrible, right? Sitting Totoro. I feel like I haven't seen, I've seen so many people do basic no feet Totoro, which is kind of what I had done when I did this custom order. But I think I'm gonna do a sitting one and he's gonna be um he's gonna be different from the other ones. I'm not like other girls, you know? He's gonna be a little different. A little friend. If I can make him look cuter. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like whenever I edit back videos of me crocheting, I look absolutely miserable. I'm just like You know, it's, and I don't know, it just, I don't look very happy in them and it kind of makes me laugh because I do enjoy crocheting. Pattern designing, eh. crocheting, yeah. Cause I kind of already pattern designed this before when I freehanded it. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. Oops, we definitely did not end on the right stitch. Oh, I just missed a bunch at the end. Ha! 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 Love 
er we increase one. I do need more medium price things because I brought a lot of like 30 or $40 items to my market and all of them sold except for like one um, flower. And my two big bobas didn't sell, but like they were also big and I don't think people wanted to like lug those around the market. So I don't blame them. Um, but the other things that were kind of higher priced items did really well compared to, I mean, my lower priced items always sell well, but like they did really, really, really good. And so I think I need to start implementing more of that, creating more, not really advanced things, but like bigger detailed things that just take a little bit longer. I really want this to be like an under an hour make. Um, it definitely won't take me less than an hour to design <laughs> considering I've already frogged it. But I think, I think you will be okay. And this is where I have to make decisions and I don't like making decisions. Do I do another row? of single crochet. I think I do and I'll see what it looks like. But I think that might be what I need. And then I think I'm going to change how many stitches I'm increasing by so it's more gradual and I can get even more rows while staying um, within my maximum minimum parameters. I should have weighed this yarn to see how much yarn I end up using, but I'm sure I'll probably have to make like two or three more. So I'm not gonna be too mad. I'm not gonna be too mad at myself. Though, I have a light gray I could do. Yes, this is it. This is totally it. This is what I want. This is what I'm going for. I think I'm trying to, I can picture it in my head, you know? And so I'm trying to see if I picture it, how will it be, you know? And I think I want to increase. Maybe. <laughs> uh, he's interesting looking. Okay, I already can tell that I don't love him but I think I'm just going to keep working on him and I'm not going to frog him more and I'm going to write down what I think I should have done and I'm going to make another one because people make multiple things when they're pattern designing I always just try and make the first one perfect and I'm like how about I use it as a learning experience and it's gonna still look like Totoro so I can still sell it it's just not gonna be the the pattern that I use you know I don't know this is what he looks like so far I think I need to make him a little bit more taller when he is skinnier for the top of his head I think he just right now just kind of looks like and I think I need like like this Hi, my mother um, shamed me for making or designing a Totoro um, when I really should be bulk crocheting because my next market is really soon. So now I'm no longer working on my Totoro. <laughs> I'm going to finish him. I think I'm just going to finish that one and sell him, but I don't think I'm... Or I'll make another one and just keep making ones until I have the right design but i don't think i'm gonna keep like frogging and redoing them maybelline i know we hate the neighbors but you can't bark when i'm recording um so right now i picked out a bunch of turtle shell colors and i'm going to crochet until i have to leave for rehearsal at six currently it's 5 11 that's what i'm doing now um i really want to finish the totoro because I think I kind of figured out what I need to do next time. But I know where she's coming from. And I just needed somebody else to tell me. Because I'm in a funk. I'm in a funk. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. What's happening? Oh! I love that you can see the leopard wall behind me. That is, like, my pride and joy. Like, 
my small business, I love it. Like I created it, but that, I did that. Anyways, it's the next day I'm wearing the same shirt. I'm holding you, which I usually don't. So I'm sorry if it's really wobbly. I don't even know what's happening. I don't know where this is gonna go. What is this footage gonna do? My hair is a mess. Today's opening night for My Fair Lady. I'm, oh, I was coming on here to talk about my wrist and my hand. So this is the hand that does all the finger movements and things like that. And we had been having like four hour rehearsals um, starting Monday. So we've had four four hour rehearsals. I know. And yesterday, starting in like maybe the middle of act two, my hand was hurting so bad and my wrist and I was having shooting pains that like kind of went, I can't show you, but like it went down my arm. Um, and so I came home and I was like, crap. So yeah, I iced it, heated it, um, tried to like massage my hand and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm a little scared. I've only done a little bit of crocheting today. I did um, four fins and this shell. I'm editing a video you've already probably seen and I'm editing the part two of that and then I need to edit the market vlog. Um, my market is really, really soon. I'm trying to look at a calendar. It's soon, today's the 19th. So that means it's probably in like 13 days and I'm freaking out cause I have like nothing and I hurt my hand. So yeah. I thought I would check in and say hello. Um, I don't really know what this is gonna be. Maybe this is gonna be a market prepping video. I don't know anymore. Anyways, that's my life right now. Today is Sunday the 21st. I had opening night Friday, a performance yesterday, and today we have the Sunday matinee. Um, and this is what I've been crocheting. Also, there's a piece of tape stuck to my thumb. I crocheted this turtle who was kindly named Kiwi on one of my YouTube lives. This is Kiwi. I then crocheted or finished crocheting this turtle on the live. She was named Rosemary. We had a poll for her name. Yesterday, I finished making this turtle um, while we had a pool party and before I went to perform. So currently, I have a total of three, four, five, six, seven turtles which is still one less than what I brought to my market on July 13th. I almost said January 13th, that's my dad's birthday, okay? So I still want to make three more for sure. Sorry, I just saw something move across my desk as I exhaled and it was a piece of yarn for a second. I thought it was a spider and I was gonna cry. Um, I still wanna make three more. I think... I think I used up all the shells that I've already crocheted, but I could be wrong. I feel like I did though, because I had this one, this one, and this one. And I think those were all the shells that I had pre-made. So I need to crochet three more turtle shells and what would it be? 12 more fins and three more heads. So let's do that while we chat i don't know what turtle shell i should do i think oh i do have another one dang it i kind of wanted to choose fun colors but i guess that will have to wait i just discovered that i have this green shell four cream fins and enough yarn to make the head so i think that's what we will do now but i kind of want to clean because it's a bit of a mess here. Uh, yesterday we had a pool party with my mom's 
or with two of my mom's high school friends usually there's three but the scheduling didn't work for one of them so we're having another pool party on august 4th the day after my next market which is going to be interesting um i feel like i'm gonna be like dead tired um which i already was yesterday because friday was opening night um opening night went really well uh there weren't very many issues uh yesterday I don't know. I'm just kind of frustrated because we've worked so hard for, on this and I've worked so hard on this and when um, something happened, I wasn't able to jump in right away because I couldn't hear the singer because I usually always play like the singing part with the singer and so then I was getting like mean looks or whatever and I know my worth and I don't know if everybody there knows my worth um so yeah hopefully today's better um my friend Macy and then my other friend Jenna who stopped by at the market are coming to today's show so hopefully um it will be better because a lot of mistakes were made last night and they weren't made by me I'm just gonna say that I'm not the happiest right now I don't really want to go to this performance but I know I need to, but I also kind of want to go because I want to redeem myself and show people that I know what I'm doing. Um, when somebody else messes it up though, that messes me up. And so why are you blaming me and not the person, whatever. It was a whole, it was a thing that just made me a little bit less thrilled here's the update on the totoro i ripped out his eyes so i had to hot glue them in but this one needs to be hot glued a little bit more so i think i'm going to turn on my hot glue and hot glue them i applied to two pattern tests today um both of which are due after my market so i think i'll probably be doing them after my market if i get selected although one person did reach out to me and asked if i would be interested in doing one so i'm pretty sure i'll probably be picked my hair is kind of getting in my way. Do you ever have to switch sweatshirts? Because the one sweatshirt you're wearing is too hot and the other sweatshirt you're wearing isn't as hot. Also, I know I've been wearing this sweatshirt in like every video. It's like my new favorite thing. I really want you to be able to tell that I am wearing something underneath it, but it's not working. Also, can you tell that my mind is just like not here? <laughs> just gone. Um, and that's okay, but not really when I'm trying to be entertaining. I don't know. I just feel like I've not been, my videos have been flopping on YouTube and I don't know what I'm really doing wrong. Is it because I'm not uploading consistently? And if it's because of that, then hopefully I can get better at doing that. And once I get into my routine with um, school, I think it'll be easier. I'm hot gluing these eyes on because um, I'm using eight millimeter eyes and um, they're not, the backs of them aren't big enough for me to feel safe having them just in there. Um, which I probably should have done with the original Tundra that I made, but I didn't really think about that, so. Yeah, let's wind these two skeins of yarn because they're going to get tangled and I'm going to be very sad because they are both essentials of mine. Don't mind the half made sun and then the um, failed sun design. They'll be coming eventually with a pattern bundle, but right now they're not. See, isn't this so much better? Hold on, let me... Isn't this so much better than what was there before? So here's the before, after. Isn't it way better? Hello. Sorry about that. We are here and we're going to crochet this damn Totoro. He definitely needs some more rows. I'm going to pull up my sketch of him, actually. He still has a ways to go. Single crochet wise. So let's single crochet. I feel like once I'm free of this My Fair Lady, I need to have like a movie marathon watching all of the Studio Ghibli movies 
because I've only seen four of them and there are many more. And people are like, have you seen Ponyo? And I'm like, no. What about my Kiki or Kiki's delivery service? And I go, no. And then I feel bad because I feel like I'm a fake fan. But, you know, whatever. I'm crocheting, you just can't see my hands. It's just kind of annoying. I'm trying to think of other things to say. I feel like if I see those other movies though, I'm going to want to design patterns for all of those characters. And I already have so many other pattern ideas and things that I would like to accomplish. But we'll see what happens. I really want to get a Totoro pattern. I want to make a giant Totoro um, that will go with the three behind me. But designing patterns right now has kind of been a labor um, of not love, a labor of hate. I just got so frustrated with the whale shark pattern as you all witnessed. Um, sorry about that. He doesn't feel big enough, like wide wise, because he's only 36. I hate back loop only. It's so difficult. And this yarn that I'm using is so tangly. <gasps> I'm gonna stitch off. Oopsies. I'm literally one stitch off. That's not, <laughs> it's not make or break, but it is a little slightly concerning. I think he just needs to be bigger. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. I think this eye needs to be over one stitch, but here he is. I think he also needs to have a taller head. This part of him is fine. He just needs more things up at the top. So I'm going to work on his everything else. Uh, <laughs> I designed him. He has feet. I really, I so wanted this thing to have feet and he has feet. I'm making another with some adjustments. I think I'm adding about three or four rows to the body. His eyes are too close to his belly. The ears are too tall, but maybe if he's a little taller, it will look okay. He got the tail. The feet are absolutely the best part. Genius thinking on my, my part. I went through like four different feet designs and then I just sat and looked at pictures of Totoro for like five minutes and then it clicked and I knew what I had to do. But this is the man, the myth, the legend, love. So I'm making another one. And I don't really know what wrong I'm on, to be honest. I need to really figure that out. But my hot glue gun is there because I use eight millimeter eyes with him and I am absolutely terrified they're gonna fly out because the backs of them are so small and the stitches are so big because I have crazy loose tension and it's just Bernat. Um, so I hot glued the eyes for this one as well. Um, here they are. They aren't going anywhere unless you really want them off, but that's stupid and I'm not gonna do that again. Like just, hello. He's gonna be so, he's gonna be so cute right there. He's gonna live right there. He's gonna be mine. This one's probably gonna be mine be just because he's, he's not perfect. I had a performance at two there was no air conditioning and this was our performance with the most amount of people. I'm also going to lose yarn chicken, which has me distressed. I think maybe I should stop making this guy and make another one in a different color. Uh, what color should I make Totoro? Maybe a red one? I don't know. I have a lot of burnt orange, but I feel like that's not really a good Totoro color. He doesn't give burnt orange. He gives like, well, I can make a blue one because there's a smaller blue one, but I've been kind of thinking I want to make a smaller blue one. So I don't know, but I'm definitely going to lose yarn chicken. So I don't really know why I keep crocheting this. So maybe I'm going to stop and I'm going to pick the other color. 
that I'm gonna do. Actually, let me look through my yarn stash because I might, mother fricker. I'm so mad. It's not the same gray. A brown Totoro? Green Totoro? Green Totoro? I have other patterns I should be designing and market prepping that I should be doing. <laughs> but I just, I just need to. I just need him in my life. Maybe he just doesn't get appendages. Maybe I'm, I will keep working on him. Confirm the body size and everything. And he just won't get ears and arms and feet yet. Even though that's like the whole dang point is that he has feet and none of the other patterns that people make that are small have feet. I could text my friend Macy and see if she has gray, but I don't think she has very much yarn. That's Bernat anymore. Cause she's actually good and uses her yarn instead of hoards it. But of course, like the one freaking yarn I need is the one I don't have. Ugh. Anyways, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, we had a performance. It went pretty well, except for the fact that um, one of the crew must have left the computer's alerts on because they got about four emails or four notifications in the span of like two minutes and it went through the loudspeakers. Then, what else happened? Oh yeah, there was no air conditioning, which was painful to say the least. And after that, my friend Macy and my other friend Jenna, who stopped by at my market, um, we went out to Applebee's and hung out for a little bit and it was super, super fun. We are actually getting together tomorrow for a like, it's kind of a birthday party, kind of what, uh, kind of a 4th of July party, kind of just a party um, at one of our other friend's house with all of our high school friends and then just some other people that they know that I don't know very well. Um, but I kind of don't want to go. And I know they're probably watching this and they're going to be like, what? And I'm, I'm, and I'm just going to say, this is my first night home. Like, home, just like not doing something at night since uh, Monday. No, since last Sunday. And I don't really want, I don't know. I really want to go. But... I'm so, I mean, I'm not tired right now, which is surprising, but I did sleep in until like 10. I need to market prep and I'm sitting here crocheting Totoro's that I'm not going to be able to finish because I'm going to lose yarn chicken. But like, I'm just tired thinking about doing something, you know, because I've been doing something this whole time. <laughs> I've been doing a lot. I'm going to see them on the 6th or some of them on the 6th because I'm hosting a pool party at my house because I've been mentioning having a pool party since like COVID. And I know like once I get there, it'll be really fun, but I have to get there and I have to leave my house. I don't want to leave my house. It's 1.42 a.m. and I forgot to show you the progress I've made. So I guess I just have to show it to you tomorrow because I'm dying. Am I wearing the same pajamas that I was wearing last night? Yes. Oh. Rejected. Anyways, I stayed up until like 2 a.m. <laughs> um, sorry. He still needs his tail, uh, which I am crocheting. Okay, I'll show you. Prototype. He's cute. He kind of looks like what everybody else's Totoro's look like. More kind of chunky. Uh, the ears are too tall, but I figured out an ingenious way to add feet. So then I was going to make another one in gray. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want the gray one for like the pattern pictures and pattern test, but I don't know if that's going to happen, which is upsetting me. I kind of want to make another one. 
I have an army of Totoro's. Maybe I'll make a pink one with that pink right there. That kind of matches my skin tone, yeah. honestly. Navy blue and pink would be pretty cute. Do you think his ears need to be taller? I think his ears are fine. I think I'm being hypercritical. Anyways, this is him. He doesn't have feet. The feet are going to be optional. Who's got mail? Who's got mail? I got mail. I got mail. Who's got mail? Who's got mail? I got mail. 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 I got a package from the one and only J Baby Designs, who has recently been like going crazy making some of the most beautiful stitch marker sets she just had a surprise release today and it sold out in like five minutes um so i couldn't get my hands on one and i couldn't get my hands on ones at her last release because i was glamping and so when i commented saying i was like super sad that i didn't um manage to get one um, she DM'd me and was like, well, do you want a custom set? And I was like, oh, no, I'm dropping things. Oh, I'm dropping things. I'm dropping things. Oh, this is going on my water bottle immediately. But anyway, she DM'd me and she was like, do you want a custom set? And I was like, yeah, I do, of course. So she made me a custom set. I haven't seen it at all. Not even a sneak peek. I'm so scared. I mean, I'm not scared. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay. I'm just going to peek and make sure that you can see it. This is it. Can you see it? Buddy is amazing. She's done amazing. Um, okay. I think I'm going to hit pause on you. I don't have a way to record this and I want to have it vertical so that I can post it on my stories. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll post the horizontal version on my stories, but whatever. Okay. Okay. I'm... <gasps> Okay, I saw a little bit of a spoiler. I'm going to look at it right now. <gasps> oh. Oh. She's, she has, she has spoiled me rotten. <gasps> oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, get this out of here. Get this out of here. Oh. I'm gonna cry. For real. She, I feel like this is incredible. Look at them. The checkered, I was so hoping that she was going to send something checkered. We, She had said that she sent me, or she said she was going to for sure include the neon orange. And I was literally thinking today when I was watching her live, she was going to, she was talking about her fall stitch markers. And she was saying stuff and I was like thinking to myself, oh, she needs to do a mushroom one. I got a mushroom one. I got a mushroom one. It's like a rainbow a rainbow one because like I use all these like rainbows in my Instagram grid it's a rainbow they got pink orange yellow and green a rainbow totally I totally see the vision <gasps> and this one's gold oh because she because I'm a gold sucker but then this one's silver mixed metals green checkered heart with the pink I love green and pink combo this one's so just reminds me of my mom. Her birth month is May and her stone is emerald. And it's totally this green and then her favorite color is pink. So like this is like my mom is a stitch marker, which to me is really cute because my mom and I are besties. <laughs> I don't know why I'm frowning. I'm not frowning because I love it. I'm like, she nailed it. She nailed it. Absolutely fruitly tootly nailed it. I'm in love. I'm trying to hold them all at the same time and it's so not gonna happen. And if I drop them and anything happens, I will be absolutely devastated. Please, please look. Mabel's so excited. <laughs> I just say that every time she barks in any of my videos. I'm like, she's so excited. I love it. Letty, you you nailed it. You absolutely nailed it. I cannot wait. I I need to use one. I think I have to use this one when I crochet my next Totoro because my next Totoro I think is gonna be pink. And I feel like there's just 
magical nature mushroom moment with Totoro. I was spoiled. I was spoiled, y'all. I got, oh my gosh, I got the iconic orange hook. That's like everybody's favorite. And a smiley face. And Buddy's like iconic checkerboard. And I got one with like, they're kind of squishy. I have pen on this hand, so I'm so terrified to touch them with it. I'm dying. Dead. Done. Whole week made. Whole week just been made. I love them. I was going to crochet a pastel toes row using that pink, but with these new stitch markers, I chose to go brighter. Um, I'm making another one while I wait for my parents to get home because I need to use their Amazon to order what was it? Eight millimeter, 10 millimeter safety eyes and a new, this thing. Uh, this is what I use to transfer all the videos from my phone to my computer. And my phone is like totally running out of room because I have probably like 2000 pictures and videos from when I went to Peru and Costa Rica. So I'm ordering the 500 gigabyte one of this which I'm going to use for my crochet stuff and videos and stuff. And then I'm going to use this one for personal use and stuff like that. So I'm waiting for them to get home, but I'm starting another Totoro uh, with Bernat, of course, and my new very, very cute stitch marker. Um, I'm hoping to be able to take some more pattern pictures and things like that for when I make this guy just because there are some things that could possibly use more explaining like I did so an outline on this guy's belly so I was going to include that as a video tutorial and I think I included, yeah, I already filmed how I sewed on his feet for the blue guy. So I don't have to do that again for the pink. But I do want to show how I sew on the belly because it, I think it really makes it look a lot better. Uh, this was also just a different version of the pattern. And his belly is all bumpy. With the new way that I do the belly, it's smoother, but it's still not as smooth as I want it to be. So I sew around this and I want to show how you sew around that again this is prototype number one he's cute and chunky and then this is prototype number two i think i don't love him as much because i don't think i did a great job with his nose and with this embroidery and the color is wrong so i'm going to try and make a pink one even though i think the color is wrong i don't know if that's gonna help but these are the two guys his one's embroidery is just so much better than this one so i think that's what's like throwing me off and I, t I tacked his arms down, right? I, I sewed his arms down, and I don't know if I really love that. I think I like the silly nature of this one. Or maybe I just do, like, the chunky style better. I don't know. I haven't had much to say crochet-wise. I'm trying to brainstorm things that I can crochet using this yarn. Because I kind of just want to use a ton of this yarn for my next market. And not ever replenish it completely again. I was gifted a bunch of this yarn from my friend Macy who bought a ton of it as well like I did and now doesn't like using it <laughs> like I do. So I don't really know what to do. If you have any ideas of what I can do with that yarn, let me know. I don't want it no more. I don't want it no more. July 23rd and I'm going to show you the things that I've been crocheting recently. Prototype 1. Pro actually prototype 2. Prototype 3. Prototype 4. Uh, I crocheted those. I started making the pink one last night um, and I stayed up to bait and yeah I'm going to post the tester call probably tomorrow. I also crocheted or finished assembling this guy who needs a little bit more stuffing. I believe that I have market prepped 
six turtles, or maybe this is my seventh turtle that I have um, completed for my market, and I'm kind of getting over them. Uh, my total row pattern is good. I do need to like retype it out into the format that it will be sent to testers in, but I don't really want to do that. I just want to crochet things. And I've been really feeling motivated to crochet some crabs um, in attempt to get rid of my Bernat Velvet yarn. So I think I might crochet some crabs, even though they're not on my list of things to restock. I kind of feel like going live right now. Is that kind of wild? Is that a wild idea? I don't know. I feel like I have the energy to go live. But is this when all the weirdos are out? Sorry, that sounded mean. But like sometimes I get weird people in the chat and I don't like them. And they say weird things and I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, block. No, I haven't had to block anybody for a while, which is nice. I shouldn't admit that sometimes people bother me and then because that's admitting that and that it literally is admitting that. Wow, Anna, you're a genius. But that is potentially 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 giving them power over me so i don't really know but i kind of am just feeling like going live do i even need my face maybe maybe not my hair looks okay i got my pebble necklace on i don't know hello this is very far into the future anna like Today is August 7th and I'm editing this. And I've discovered when I was very upset with my external hard drive and I was deleting things off of it, I accidentally deleted the rest of this video. So, I mean, the video right now that I'm editing is already an hour and five minutes, which is a lot. This was very chatty, very chatty, whatever spews out of my mouth. So I think <gasps> Mabel thinks we should end it here. To summarize what you're missing that I deleted, I did go live that night. I don't really know <gasps> what else to say. That's it. I don't really know what else to say because I don't remember what I what is missing. That's how this is going to end. I'm sorry that it's kind of abrupt. Uh, the footage was not lost. It was deleted by yours truly. So thank you all so much for watching and hanging out and listening to me ramble on endlessly about pattern designing, crocheting, music, I don't even know and I've just been editing this video like it just all in one ear out the other. I hope that it's the same for you guys because holy crap I talked a lot and <laughs> I don't even know. Now I'm talking too much. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video where I will show you how I batch crochet plushies because I managed to crochet like 45 plushies in three weeks for this August 3rd market. Uh, that already happened. And I talk about that and that's it. Thank you. I'll see you in that video.